What I mentioned earlier in the week um, was that the extension of our next executive order uh, will, will be on Monday. And it's, I've just preferred to give some folks some heads up going into the weekend about kind of what we're thinking, the numbers you always hear from Dr. Box first, uh, which kind of sets the stage. And I, I did want to um, also say thank you to all the Hoosiers who um, really took to heart uh, what we've been asking folks to do. 99.99% of Hoosiers are <clears throat> stepping up and playing by the rules or with the program. They understand this is not about me. This is about all of us. Um, and we're in it together. We're going to get through it together. And uh, the more folks who are with the program means that we get through it uh, more efficiently and, and safely. And so that means you've stayed home and that hunkered down. And that means you've stayed healthy to the extent that um, you have control over. That means you've stayed connected. Uh, with all the information, and, and we're just very, very appreciative. We've been hard at work, this whole task force, and um, this extraordinary hospital network system that we have here in the state of Indiana uh, to make sure that we've um, not just accessed, but also developed supply lines in terms of PPE, that personal protective equipment throughout the whole state of Indiana. Uh, we've made a lot of progress on that front, as have other states around the country, but um, that is not to <clears throat> deter anyone who is also pitching in those sewing groups in Boone County, Indiana that are supplying their local grocery store or their hospital. We still need you to do that. We're just, um, I just underscore this to say that uh, we're in a different position now than we were just weeks ago. Still have a lot of uh, days ahead, and uh, we'll continue to dial up and make um, orders where we see fit, but hospitals will continue to have their supply chains intact. We'll, as a state, continue to build up our um, strategic state supply um, as the days go forward. And we've been operating in very responsible two-week increments in terms of these um, executive orders um, so that that allows us to appropriately adjust. Uh, or accommodate these facts on the ground as they come into our portal. That phase, um, as was just mentioned by Dr. Yaletti, um, I know it makes all of us anxious and uh, stir crazy at times, and we get cabin fever. It's very understandable, um, but we're making progress because of it, and we don't want to prematurely um, change what we're doing just to hope for a different result. It is working. Having said that, um, having said that uh, our containment policies and our capacity issues, the management of them, um, has put us in a position to where we're now in the phase where we're planning on a safe reopen um, concerning different sectors of our economy. That's why yesterday I mentioned uh, that we sent out uh, communication uh, to various associations um, soliciting their input. We've asked them to return that input by the 22nd of April, which would be Wednesday next week. Fairly quick turnaround, but a lot of companies, talked to some earlier this morning, uh, have already started in anticipation for this phase, uh, put together plans in place for a safe reopen. And so we've reached out to um, our manufacturers, our realtors, our um, uh, retailers, our restaurateurs, tourism, small from small business to the largest businesses, largest employers we have in the state of Indiana, to legislators, to mayors, to all the local officials, because again, we're in this together, um, soliciting their ideas for these safe openings, understanding that the state of Indiana is 92 counties, we've got 10 different health districts and regions, so to speak, and we'll continue to manage it in that, in that way.